Hey everyone, today I'm here with the 2008 Volkswagen Passat 3.6 4 motion and um, I wanted to do this video to to alleviate some problems with direct fuel injection and to remove some carbon buildup deposits on the back of the valves um, in this engine. Um, I was reading up last night that there's been some issues with carbon buildup on direct fuel injection engines because fuel doesn't pass over the valves like it does in a normal uh, port fuel injection motor. So to alleviate the problem of carbon buildup, um, a BMW driver talked to a technician at a dealership and I was reading this online on a forum last night and um, he found that going about 65 miles an hour at about 4500 RPM um, got rid of most of the carbon deposits on his car. And I was really surprised about this um, because it didn't seem like it would work and there's been a lot of uh, controversy about how to fix the carbon buildup issue. But he brought his car in at 70,000 miles after doing the process for um, 35,000 miles and they found very little carbon buildup on the back of his valves. Um, so basically, it's, it's an easy way to get rid of the carbon buildup Although you do have to drive for about 20 minutes over 3,000 RPM in order to get, burn off some of that carbon buildup. So he had a BMW 5 Series, a 535i with the N54 engine, and his dealership, when he traded in at 70,000 miles, the dealership said his valves looked almost brand new, and I was really surprised at, at that, and he said this process by revving it at he, he used uh, 4,500 RPM at 65 miles an hour for about 20 minutes, and that helped solve his issue over the course of about 35,000 miles. Um, even Volkswagen, when they patented their design of the direct fuel injection engine in 2002, they mentioned that carbon buildup on the back of the valves was a common issue with direct fuel injection motors. So, uh, with that in mind, they said revving, o revving over 3,000 RPM for the course of 20 minutes would burn off most of the carbon buildup on the back of the valves. So I think this is a really good process for any of you that own a direct fuel injection motor and need to get rid of the carbon buildup and increase your performance and, and keep the efficiency that comes with a direct fuel injection motor. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this really helps uh, you take care of your car over the next few years and that your engine will last a lifetime. And giving you the great performance and reliability that came with it when it was brand new. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.